What's up everybody, it's the RCL Men here. Welcome to another quick tutorial here in Rec Room. Today I'm going to show you how you can change the time of day in your rooms. Now there's two different ways that you can do this. The first way is with the preset moods, that's what they're called in Rec Room, kind of the preset times of day that rooms can get. And the second way is using a couple of different chips in order to customize the time of day that you want. I'll show you how to do both methods. But before we actually get started, you need to make a custom room. Just to warn you though, there are a couple of rooms that will not let you change the time of day. For instance, if you go to the park room, one of the older rooms uh, you start with in Rec Room, that one won't let you change the time of day. But let's go ahead and go into a room and I'll show you how you can start messing with the time of day. All right, so you've made your custom room and now you wanna change the time of day. The first way we're gonna do it is with the room settings. So you're gonna open up your watch here, go to this room, and they just recently added this new kind of home page for your room, but you're gonna hit settings right here. Go to general setup, and then you're gonna hit subroom settings and go all the way to the right to the very last page. So the preset ones here are called moods. Right now we're in the sunny day mood. We can skip to the cozy sunset. You can see it moved the sun and it changed all the colors here. We've got calm night. There should be a moon. There's a moon over there. Uh, we can change to misty sunrise. You know, it changes basically just the time of day within each one. We have spooky night with a big moon over there. Outer space with no moon, but a bunch of stars. And then back to sunny day. Okay, so that's how you do it using kind of the pre-made ones under room settings. But if you like a little bit more control and you want to change more things about the times of day, um, you can use these two chips. So open your maker pen here, go to open palette, and you're going to go to other chips here. Go to gadgets and then other chips. Hit background objects chip, and you're going to use sky dome chip. Both of these chips will allow you to change both the colors that you see on the background there and the actual sun and or moon. So first of all, let's do the sun and moon before we mess with anything else. Let's go configure this background objects chip. Okay, and then what you're going to want to do is skip to, I believe it's the fourth page. Yeah, the fourth page. So on the fourth page, you can basically turn the sun into a moon. So let's just go spooky moon, it'll turn into a giant moon or full moon. And you can use either one of those. Now you can also change the color of it. So if I hit spooky moon and then I want it to be a red spooky moon, just hit that, hit that, hit okay, and there, now it's red. And the same thing with full moon, hit full moon, change the color, we want a red full moon, there you go. You can also add stars on here. If you go back one page to stars, we have night stars, which are stars in the sky. And we have outer space stars, which are stars everywhere. So that's just kind of how you mess with those settings. Also, there's a bunch of other settings, rotation, we have transparency. You can feel free to mess with all those. And now, if we exit out of this, you see that it doesn't actually change. If you want it to actually, if you want the change to actually take effect, you're gonna have to take this zero right here and turn it into a one. And you can do that also with, uh, you know, chips. Like if you have like a trigger zone hooked up to it or something, you can make it happen within your game. If you want to disable it, then you have to also change this one into a one. So let's change it to one. And then there we go. Now it's not red anymore. So that's how that one works. This one works pretty much the same way. Um, let's see, you're gonna configure it. And then this will let you, this will give you options to change all of these colors back here. So for instance, we have, let's start at the very top, which is sky top color. So let's say we want it to be, let's go this color, right? And so now you can see we have this purple sky. The next color down is sky bottom. Let's go, do we have a white? Let's go white, there we go. And then we have a ground top, which would be, we actually have the horizon there in the middle, which is on the next page. So horizon, let's make it the darkest color we can. There we go. It's not very dark, but there it is. Okay, let's make that. And we can also mess with the horizon. So right now it's dark. If I increase the size and the strength, you can see it's gonna change the entire mood of the whole room. Okay, and then let's see, let's go back to, and then we have ground top, which will be the color right there. Let's change that to pink. Sure, why not? 
hit OK. And then bottom color, blue. There we go. Now we have a bunch of weird colors. It's changed the time of day at the moment. But if we get out of this, if we get rid of the Maker Pen, the change doesn't really occur. All of the settings are stored in here, but they haven't occurred yet. Just like with this chip, we're going to have to configure this to a one and then the change will take place. And if we don't want it to happen anymore, configure this to one and then it will stop. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for joining me for another tutorial. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Have a good day, everybody. Our CEO man out.